All right, guys, we're back at it. Down here at the river, guys, she is high, guys. Here's the kind of parking lot here. You can see how high the water is up. Say here at the Lumber River here, my my local local town here, guys, here in Lumberton, North Carolina. And like I say, yeah, like I say here's the parking lot right here. It was caught covered in water there when that storm come by. Now we had that Michael came by, it dumped a lot of rain on some more, some more storms. And like I say, it's risen, it's still real high, guys, because like I say, the boat ramp, it was right there. Like I say, it's supposed to go on back in there a good piece, but it's real extremely high, guys. But we're still going to get in here and see if we can get these bass out of here for y'all. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm sitting here in my boat. Parking lot's right behind me, guys, so I'm actually taking off in my boat right here in the parking lot on the river. It's high out here today, guys. But we're going to be using be using three things today, guys. I'm going to be using a, a jig right here, a little flipping jig right here, guys. I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be using... A black trick worm, gotta have it in the gotta have it in the river. I don't care how high it is or what it's like. And I'm gonna be using spinner bait, guys. You'll see me throwing this here spinner bait on a couple videos. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this here spinner bait too, guys, and see if we can pull some of these big river bass out of here, guys. But I'm about to take off and we get at y'all. Like I said, I got my paddles out, I'm about to take off. And we get right back at y'all in a little bit. Alright guys, first up I'm gonna be throwing a spinner bait here. Like I said, we got our trailer on here. It's got some willow leaf blades on it, gold and silver. And that's gonna be our first uh, our first bait that we're gonna use, guys. Like you say, I'm like I say, I'm here in North Carolina, guys. Y'all can chime in. Let me know where y'all from, guys. Let me know where y'all from. Let me know if y'all fish rivers or anything. Like I say, I'm fishing the river right now. I be fishing rivers, ponds, lakes, different things. But like I say, I mostly be in I mostly be in rivers and ponds, guys. Like I say, chime in. Let me know where you're coming from, guys. You know, let me know what kind of fishing you like doing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fish with spinner baits much or anything like that there too, cause. But like I say, I, uh, I'm not a big spinnerbait guy, though, guys, but I know I haven't even really threw a spinnerbait in this river, guys. Like I said, I got this spinnerbait the other day, been throwing it in the pond there where I've been going fishing at, been catching some bass with it. And I figured it should work pretty good here in this here river, guys. The, it's, the river's up high, current's moving kind of good, real good, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see me with the paddles, guys. That's how I get down, you know what I'm saying? I got me, a, I got a John boat, too, that I'd like to put in here, but there's so many... There's so many logs and so many so many things you got to cross over in this river because it's full of it's full of uh, timber. I mean, trees just blowed over everywhere. You got to cross the got the boat cross a lot of things. So that's why I like using this here gravy boat here that I'm in now, guys. But uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get at it with this here spinner bait, guys, and see if we can get a big one in here for y'all. All right, guys, got the spinner bait on. Be casting, making a little short cast here down the edge of this here bank, and see if we can get one of these one of these bass to come out of here and wheel this here thing. Ooh, that wasn't cool. Not cool at all right there, guys. All right, guys, we're back at it. Still got the spinner bait out, guys. Gonna be fishing. Fishing through some of this timber right here. Let's see if we can get a big one to come up and bust at this spinner bait, guys. Let's see if we can get a big one to come up and hit this spinner bait. Say the water here is kind of is awfully high, guys. I mean, it is high. It's been it's been high now for it's been high now for a while, guys. Ever since um uh, ever since um uh, that Latin Florence come through. Ever since Florence came through, guys, I haven't had a chance really to go back down and kind of get back regular like it was. But the fishing, I noticed the fishing's been pretty good here in the river since this water's been high. In certain spots, you can come to certain spots, and it seems like them bass is kind of ganging up, ganging up in certain spots because they, they're not really in this here running water, and and all this um all this flooding that we got is flooded out a bunch of places. And there's a lot of water in the woods, and a lot of a lot of water in different places where there usually don't be water at, and we haven't really picked up no fish fishing in them spots. We've been picking up the bass still fishing in the main river here but fishing in these kind of calmer spots and finding spots that still has some bank on them like this spot up here i'm fishing i'm trying to fish the outside of it before i roll up before i get up very close on it but we've been catching fish it every time we come we at least catch two or three here this year one spot and uh it's still got a hard bank on it still got it still got a hard bank up to it like i say i'm a kind of paddle paddle a little closer to it. I'm trying to you know, kind of fight this here current and, and kind of fish it too, guys. But y'all see, y'all got, got, my, got my paddles out here. Okay, guys, we're back at it. 
got the famous jig out guys we're gonna work it in these trees right here guys and see if we can get one of these big bass out of here or one of these river bass out of here to come up and blow up at this thing you hear that squealing guys that's my fish caller that's what i call a fish rig guys good spot in here for a bass to be laying guys good spot Yep, good spot for a bass to be laying, guys. Right here in front of the boat, right here. Like I said, it's river water. It's kind of cold now. It's it's different from uh, water in a pond. This river water here. I don't know how many degrees it is, but it is real chilly. It is kind of cold here in the river right now. It usually be cold kind of year round anyway, because it's like I say, it's, it's running water. It's coming from. It's coming from the west, coming to the east, it's, you know. Oh yeah, let's get right down in there, guys. Let's get right down in there, guys. Like I say, yeah, she's get, she's pretty high too, guys. Like I say, hey, haven't been. Oh, I feel the bump there, guys. Come on, baby. I felt a little nudge. That could have been a limb that got me off guard. Let's get back out there again. A fish caller. Hear that fish caller, guys? Y'all hear it ringing? Oh, yeah. Can y'all see that? Oh, no, guys. Son of, son of a gun, guys. Son of a gun, guys. I am, that, I am upset, guys. That's some bull right there. Just broke my line, guys, on that snatch. Just snatched one, I mean, one was gone with it, guys. I picked up on the line, and he was gone with it, guys. And I, I set the hook. I don't know, I had to have a, I had to have a, a abrasion in my line or something, guys. I don't know what just happened, guys. I am, that there is crazy right there, guys. I'm telling you, I'm, that's got me, it's got me whipped out there, guys. My knot, it, my knot didn't slip or nothing, guys. I'm looking at my line. My knot did not slip. I just had a, a abrasion or something in my line. Oh God, I'm about to get back at it guys. I just lost that bass. I mean, I threw it in there, picked my line up. I mean, he was gone with it. I get, I set the hook, got to pulling for just a second guys. And my line just popped. When we get back at y'all, I might tie another jig on guys and get back at it. All right guys, I tied me another, another jig on guys. We're about to get back out there. That was just upsetting, guys. I missed that fish like that there. Like I say, that, that happens when you don't, like I say, you don't retie your line, retie your line. I didn't, I had that that jig on for, for my last couple trips and had, didn't even retie it, guys. Hadn't retied it, you know what I'm saying? My fault completely, guys, on that right there. But we're going to get back out there. I'm going to get back out there. I'm going to see if I can call me another out of there with this loud-ass reel. <laughs> see if we can call us another fish out of here, guys. And like I said, I can't believe I missed that there fish, but well, I can believe I missed that fish. Like I say, you that'll happen if you don't, like I say, you don't retie your stuff. You don't retie your stuff, guys. All right, guys, we switch it up on them a little bit. I got the black trick where I'm out right now, guys. Got it, got it, Texas rig, fishing with the straight rig. I'm gonna be working this bank right here. I'm gonna be working this bank right here and see if I can get one of these, look at them, get one of these bass. To come up out of here and bust this here thing, guys. Let's see if we can get one of these river bass out of here. Get some, get some action on here for y'all. I say, guys, if you're watching, let me know where you're tuning in from, guys. Let me know where you're tuning in from, guys. Yeah, let me know where you're tuning in from, and let me know what y'all want to see, guys. Let me know what y'all, y'all are interested in, what y'all would like to see, guys. Like I say, and I take a few of y'all's ideas, you know, and I come up with. I come up with a, a good day of fishing for y'all guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, just throw me some ideas out there. You know, let me know. Uh, you know, let me know your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what uh what you think about what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You want to see more of it, or you know, how do y'all like how y'all like this here thing to be? I'm about to cast right up on beside this tree right here, guys. And I'm about to get this here fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, perfect spot. I'm about to get this bass up out of here. I'm telling you, they're in here. See, I'm already lost one out of here. And I know them bass 
are in here. Now I'm kind of fishing that tree where I'm kind of slow. I'm kind of letting it fall, sink down. I'm just giving it some light pops, you know what I'm saying? Nothing drastic. And just kind of letting it sink down, kind of letting it do its own thing and see if something will kind of pick it up, you know. Okay, let's get back out there, guys. Get another cast. Get that little skip going on. Y'all see that little skip I got going on there? That's about right there where I was, where I threw out that jig at, guys, and he hit it on the drop. I mean, it was, it was dropping down, and that's a pretty he good sized jig that I'm using, too, pretty heavy jig that I'm using, and he hit it on the drop. So that might have been a reaction bite. It might have been falling right there in front of his face, and he hit it, or he might have heard it when he hit the water, and he just rushed over there to see what it was and got it before it got to the bottom. Like I say, these fish is probably trying to feed up for the winter time too, guys, because it's about to start getting cold here after in a little bit. We're just getting a little taste of the cold weather in North Carolina right now, guys. We're just getting a little taste of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that might be a fish right there, guys. A little bit further out there, guys. I'm gonna kind of work this worm a little bit more than what I was working it before and see if that changes up. So, oh, just had a hit, guys. There he goes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, guys, there he is. Oh yeah, river bass, baby. River bass, oh, woo -hoo -hoo. river bass, baby, river bass. Let's get this baby. Let's get him up in. Oh, get up in there. He's hooked good too, guys. Woo -hoo. Yes, yes. Oh, good God, he's he's playing. He's, he's, he's all on my he's all on my stand, guys. Bam, baby. All right, guys. It's right here, river bass, guys. Right here off the uh, off the black trick worm, guys. He ain't got my G. This might not be the one that got my jig from me, guys. But like I say, nice river bass, guys. I mean, this is what it's all about, guys. Getting out, having a good time, and catching some fish, guys. Like I say, yeah, beautiful bass, guys. These these river bass are some beautiful fish, guys. I am tell, I'm telling you, take him off here. See if y'all get y'all get y'all a little get y'all straightened out a little bit. Get him off here, guys. Like I say, he nailed that thing. Too, and I was working that there a little faster too, guys. I wasn't letting, I wasn't letting that there drop as much. I was kind of working a little quicker. He just come up there, tap, tap, and he busted it, guys. Look like he's got some, he's got some battle scars on him too, guys. Like he's been fighting or something. Something's been going on with him, guys. But anyway, but like I say, got him on that black trick worm, guys. We're about to throw him back, guys, and we're gonna get back to fishing. All right, guys, y'all just see me pulling at their bass here, like say here in the river, guys. And what I'm fishing with, like say, just a Zoom trick worm, guys. You can find these at Walmart, anywhere, guys. Like I say, I got it, I got it Texas rigged. Got it Texas rigged. And I got my, I don't know if y'all do this here too, but I do this. I take my hook, okay? I take my hook, once I got it, once I got my hook in here how I want it, when I'm, when I'm rigging it up, once I got it in here like this here, guys, I take my, my, I bring my worm back and I stick my hook all the way through with my points kind of sticking out like that. And I just go there and I kind of take my worm and kind of pull it up, pull it up a little bit. You can't really see how see it on, but I pull it up a bit and tuck that, that barb under, just under barely, under that worm, under that little bit in that plastic like that, guys. So that way when the fish bites it, the, the hook's more kind of, the hook's more kind of right there to get him. When he bites on it, I can snatch it. The hook's kind of right there to get him. And it's kind of, it's a lot, it's weedless this way too, guys. It's still weedless this way and everything. But this is kind of the way I kind of rig it up, guys. But I'm going to let y'all hop off here. But I'm about, I'm about to get back to fishing, guys. We'll get back at y'all in a minute. All right. All right, guys, that wraps up the fishing, guys. It's dark out here. I'm about to get, I'm about to hightail it to the house, guys. Like I said, if you like the video, you know, like, like this video, subscribe to my channel, guys. I have I put I'll be putting more fishing videos out here like this right here. I try to be more inform informative too on my videos, guys. But like I say, I'm about to get out of here. It's time to eat something, guys. But remember, guys, any day is a great day to get out and let's go fishing, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.